On today's show, we have Thomas and Jelena join us to talk about cerebral palsy. Thanks so much for joining for Afternoon Tea. Thank you. So tell Thank us you. a bit about uh, yourself. Hi, um, um, my name is Thomas, Thomas Mousing. Um, I'm a father to a 10-year-old boy who has cerebral palsy. He's been living with that since um, since he's been this is yeah since his birth. Um, we found out in 2004 what his condition was, and ever since then we've been trying our best to make him have a life like any other child mm -hmm. here in TNT. Great, and you, Jelena? Hi, I'm Jelena. I'm with Next of Kin <coughs> Productions. I'm a family friend to Thomas and his wife Rose, uh, who are the lovely parents of uh, Salimana Samuel Mousing. And this young man, though he has cerebral palsy, um, is as energetic and as uh, beautiful as any other 10 year old. And uh, we are here for a purpose, and that is for him. For those who don't know what cerebral palsy is, what, what is that? Uh, cerebral palsy is a condition that affects the brain in how he controls, how they control the body, from the hands to the legs to the speech, and basically all parts of the body. But all his muscles in his body. Yeah, it's it's a condition with with the big name cerebral palsy, and then it branches out. So, yeah. Very death. There's de various levels of cerebral, cerebral palsy. palsy. Yeah. yeah. And, and how does that affect his life and, and yours as well as a parent? Um, as a parent, for me, um, as a, for him being 10 years old now, uh, it's like an <coughs> achievement to it's come an this achievement one, yeah. For him to um, get a toy and build blocks, that's an achievement, yeah. So for a normal 10 year old child, he'd be already running around in school, um, playing sports and all that. But for, in grade three. Yeah, grade three or grade four. Yeah. Yeah. But for Sally, he's, he's still yet to get there. Okay. And we're still um, giving him that opportunity to get there. Okay. So is he currently in school? Or? No. Okay. Currently, we don't have um, schools specifically for oh, yeah. children with cerebral palsy. Yeah. So, that, so that's something, obviously, he's not the only one in Papua New Guinea that has cerebral palsy. That's palsies. right. Um, we found out that in 2012, when we were doing his fundraising, um, a good friend of mine, Stephen Kilagi, he donated 1,000 kina and he asked us to put the story out in the paper. And once it was in the paper, we found out that there were a lot of families out there right. who didn't know what cerebral palsy was or who knew they had children with cerebral palsy but didn't know what to do, yeah. mm. what to do here in PNG. So ever since then, my wife and I have been speaking about doing a foundation. But with doing a foundation, it takes a lot of work yeah, of to get it started. But with what we're doing now, coming on TV and sharing our experiences, we hope that this foundation can eventuate mm. and um, reach, out to other, reach out to other people yeah. out there, families out there. And the fundraising, um, you have a fundraising event coming up. Is that to raise funds for the foundation? Or Jelena, maybe you can speak about the foundation, uh, the fundraising that's coming up. Well, um, Saliman has grown. So the shoe yes. races yes. Yeah. that... Foot race. Oh, okay. rather, foot race, thank you. That he had when he was four years old don't fit him now. He's now 10. So uh, there's a couple of other items that will help him uh, with his posture and his movement and so these items are what we are raising funds for. Um, Thomas and them did uh, fundraising earlier but they've also had the help with of uh, people like Yanis from Lamana. And yes. So Thomas you touch on those. Um, in 2000 with the equipments that he has now he's already outgrown them. He has mm -hmm. a walker, a stroller and foot brace. Okay, what the foot brace does is it keeps his feet straight, flat, I mean, yeah. Keeps his feet flat so it doesn't um, turn or curve. The muscles don't um, go the way, okay, yeah. you know, the brain is not controlling the muscles to yeah. go. So that's what the foot brace does. And it's very vital for children with that condition so that they're able to stand and walk on their own. Mm. Okay. So 
we're raising funds for that. His walker, the one that he has now, he's already outgrown it. Mm -hmm. He needs a new one. Um, the stroller that he has currently, it's it's very dangerous for him at this stage because uh, the posture that he sits, it can damage his um, kidneys cord. and his spinal oh. cord. Yeah. yeah, so he needs to get a, a new wheelchair for that, okay. for his mobility uh, in so, and around. Um, so this fundraising event, when is it happening? On the 25th of June. Yes. Uh, whereabouts will it be? At uh, Red Rock. Thank you to Stephen. He's um, providing the venue free of charge and mm -hmm. my duty is to assist with and providing how much, uh, a ticket so you know to, if people are watching who want to be support this cause well it's not the normal ticket as you would say okay <laughs> it's a t-shirt it's a round neck shirt it's oh, a green okay. round neck shirt so they'll purchase it a, a yeah. t-shirt entry that's... by shirt oh fantastic and, <laughs> how, and how much is this shirt we're asking for 200 kina okay and uh, with that you'll get something to nibble on and something to make your afternoon uh, worthwhile enjoying the view and enjoying all the company that you bring with you so the 200 kina also gets you some raffle tickets yes. and which will give you the opportunity to win lots of um, prizes yeah Great. and rose being a flight attendant has access to many of those beautiful prizes Great. well so thanks so much for coming to the studio today and joining me for afternoon tea Thank you, thank you, Diane, thank you and thank you for having us on the... Yeah. It's been my pleasure. Extra.